Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, we talked about cleaning up anything that we left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, sexually. I suggest you clean that up so you can have a good day today, have a clear head, and have the best day ever because this is it. This is all we have. We don't have tomorrow, and yesterday is gone. All right, I'm going to go over the list. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger. Emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere. Then you do nothing but have excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine surgeries, pain, being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, sexually, abusing one another, and you may want to add to the list. Okay, I'm going to talk about something. Um, somebody said to my husband, um, so I was working with uh, a couple guys and they were doing this incredible website. Um, it was about healing the world. And they wanted me to be a part of it. Um, I did get started with it, but I ended up walking out um, because I just didn't feel myself. There were things that, um, it just didn't feel right, but I, I learned a lot. They taught me how to use the computer. They taught me a lot. Um, I never knew how to do pictures and all the stuff that I feared that I needed to do to keep taking my business and my real estate to another level, they helped me with. I helped them and they helped me. It was a beautiful exchange. And one of the things they wanted uh, me to do uh, was uh, get a, a letter from my husband to see what it's like living with me. They wanted to know how it was like living with Marianne. Grant, and um, I want to read something so beautiful. Um, he wrote, and I was I was stunned. He took some time, and he went uh, later in the day and wrote this. And he wrote, "Joy to the world and its celestial powers!" Exclamation mark. I receive a daily gift of revitalization and mental strength from an amazing woman, Marianne Grant, her name, and my wife, an everlasting soulmate. We are entering more than 17 years of love, honor, mutual respect, happiness, and success. We now have 25. That was um, when it was 17 years. Marianne is dedicated to guiding all people to see into their souls, understand what is good, and maintain it, to recognize shortcomings and weaknesses, mm -hmm. and how to correct that behavior. Once Marianne guides her followers on a path to a better life, the message is from, from her speakings and writings will always whisper, don't give up, you can do it. She gives you the strength to persevere. Marianne lives the life she teaches, steadfast and true. She leads her readers to a fulfilled life of peace, confidence, and self-respect to live life in harmony, explanation mark. Her loving husband, Matt Grant. I was so taken back and so... Um, in awe when I when I read that and um, and what it brought back to was my mom and my dad and the love that they had for humanity and for their children and um, where I get this strength where I get this courage where I have this compassion the compassion and love is from my mother and like I said the strength and the balls is from my father and um, how they taught us how to fight. And I used to be so embarrassed of my dad. I used to be so embarrassed of telling people I was Polish um, because there were so many Polish jokes and my maiden name was Brozda, B-R-O-Z-D-A, and everybody used to make fun of us and all the Polish jokes. So I told everybody I was Italian because I did look Italian. I had dark hair and everybody had blonde hair. I was just the black sheep all the way. but. Um, one of the things uh, in his in his polkas on the weekend and his he, my mom and dad truly lived the life they wanted to live and were successful and there wasn't anything that he didn't do 
and he had an uncle that we had a pharmacy, and then we had another Brazda in California that was a doctor. So all three of them were very successful, came from Poland. Um, my father escaped prison camp and lived in Warsaw. So he was a true American, and he loved our country. And when he used to bitch, we used to say, oh, dad, go back to Poland. I'm so mad I didn't pay attention to the history and learn more. And he never talked about how horrific it was of his past. He would never talk about it. But I want to share with you um, what I've seen with the different jobs that I had um, working with abused children and the injustices and saw they were throwaway kids. And um, when I worked with the rich people and saw, see, all the things I learned was what I don't want. It's funny how people have this idea of rich and money and power. and They're just so clueless and so naive to what success is, what power is. Power is you carry it within. Power is controlling your day. Power is making your own decisions. That's power. Um, not being controlled by other people and um, and really looking at yourself and what you want in your own life and not trying to um, so many people are so uneducated and what I learned was <clears throat> stay focused on what's important to me and um, the discipline which was key and really I asked a lot of questions I was a question asker and that's why I Max said to me you know all the tenants you know that you know everything I ask questions and and they want to give me the information and what I've learned too was people don't want to gossip they want to focus on themselves they want to focus on what they can do gossip is a waste of time drama is a waste of time um, People have too much on their plate, and they don't need to be spending their energy beating down other people. Now, if you're going to share about somebody else and learn from it or get something from it or what you want to stop doing and say so-and-so does this or so-and-so does that, that's a different story. But to sit there for an hour and bash and belittle and degrade someone and you didn't do – and you didn't, like, say anything about yourself or who you're talking to – that's a distraction of the two of whoever you're bashing um, for the two of you to not do what you need to be doing. So I want you to focus on today um, of all the, do not feed into gossip, do not feed into drama. Stay focused on what you want to accomplish today, what you want to do, how you want to help. And if you see an injustice, you reach out, um, you speak up. And this is where the courage comes in. And this is where you're, the breaking through the wall comes in. And saying no to people that you no longer respect what they're doing. And walking away and not caring what anybody else thinks. That's really power, is not caring what other people think. You want to talk about power. And that took me a while to get here, is not really give a shit what other people think. Um, because I know in my heart, um, I feel like I can go on the stand anywhere and put my hand on the Bible and speak truth of what I know to be truth and um, not anybody um, tell me any different and that's when you know you're living your true life and the other thing <clears throat> I'm going on eight days without sugar and I'm back to reading and really focused and it's amazing the gifts like I said when you're when you're using and abusing and doing things to your body that um, you're putting chemicals that don't need to be in your body, you can't really focus. You can't really enjoy what you're doing. There's something always agitated. There's something always like you're always running um, and you're always wanting more and you're always wanting to spend more. But the cleaner you are, the quieter you are, you, the more focused you are and the more power you carry. So I've been back to reading, and it's just been absolutely beautiful in the things that I learned through reading. And that's another gift of being clean and being true to yourself. So put down those things, put down those chemicals, stop that overeating, stop that self-abuse. And I'm reading a really good book, and I forgot to mention um, the self-destructive people, what they did to their body about the cutting. I even forgot about the cutting. 
it's just, I mean, the, the things that we do to abuse ourselves just keep on going and going. So, and again, remember balance, not too much of anything, because when you're out of balance, you don't enjoy anything you do. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. And it has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else we get backed up. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. Stay and hang in there for the breakthroughs. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you smooth talkers, your words mean nothing. Your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Michael Singer on spirituality. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and to learn to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder around out of control, it will wreak havoc. Control the difficult while it is still easy. Accomplish the great task by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually, you realize that it cannot actually hurt you to go beyond your psychological limits. If you are willing to just stand at the edge and keep walking, you will go beyond. You used to pull back, back but when it got uncomfortable, it's okay to get uncomfortable. Go beyond where you were a minute ago by handling what's happening now. Imagine the peace that you could experience if you weren't constantly creating and defending your false self. You are worth it. Nothing to fear but fear itself. Okay, I'm going to read a little part of my book. <clears throat> Page 57. If we take care of today, we will not have to worry about tomorrow. I love that. Um, for me, when I first started getting well, everything was so overwhelming. That's why I love living in the day, and I've, I've been seeing just so many people passing with so many different ages, like, um, and they're just coming out with these sudden deaths and all these things we didn't know about COVID, and um, it just it goes on and on and on. So we really don't know. Um, we don't have tomorrow. And these sudden deaths, these accidents, and um, it's real. So I suggest that today, and I love, like, all I have to do is focus on today. And some of the things I'm doing, I'm so proud of myself, is taking time throughout the day when I'm, when I'm wiped out. It's amazing what a 15, 20-minute shutdown can do for you to recharge and I think a lot of people have a hard time doing that. And, and what happens is there's not enough caffeine. The body really does sometimes. You just need to shut it down. Shut your, shut your mouth. Shut your voice. Shut it all down. Recharge. Um, it's better than a coffee. Because the caffeine, the sugar, all the fake substitutes, the drugs, the alcohol, it's all a fake substitute. 
and it's only a minute high, and then you crash. It's a minute high, and then you crash. It's a minute high, and then you crash. That's the cycle all day long. So we need to naturally shut it down. And it's okay to shut down 15, 20 minutes. I went shopping yesterday to get food. I went in the parking lot, put my seat back, and shut down for 15 minutes. Uh, shut my eyes because I knew I was just exhausted. And I, can, and I, and I got up refa- refreshed. And I do set realistic goals for me and everything I need to do. The other thing I'm doing now is going upstairs earlier, um, doing my podcast, I have to put it on uh, the microphone, and then uh, there's, and then I'm able to read, where before, all I was doing is cleaning up after dinner. I'm getting up earlier to clean up and to start my day. Again, you start changing your routine, change things, change them up, and for your life, for what works for you, not working around everybody else. And what we're teaching is everybody else to do what's right for them. And there's another thing, I'm working with a young girl in a relationship, and she's learning finally how to do things that work for her and teach. She's a control freak, and she's learning, and he's learning how to do things for himself. So when they're together in their partnership, all you young bucks, you've got the world ahead of you, and I'm trying to teach you all the mistakes of just really take charge of your life, and and if the two of you take charge of your own lives, it's heaven. It's it's the ultimate orgasm. It is so incredible. Um, when everybody does their part, that's what it's all about. Everybody doing their part, and it's it's life in harmony. All right, we can all heal together. And I want to read the checkoff list. Um, if you do work on one thing at a time, eventually to be a light, way of life and and not do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I'm powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss my loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. Be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. The rest will follow. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bail out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. Cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will reach out. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I'm willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day you don't want to do to be successful. My two things are getting up early, doing my podcast, and working out and keeping my food clean and the rest will follow we can all heal together one day at a time it is a decision from our head to our heart the greatest gift we can give ourselves you can reach me at create your spirit at gmail.com leave your number i'll go over my workshops and my books if you want me to sign them and if you want to learn about my services, lifeinharmonyonline.com, leave your number. I'll go over my services. And remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. And please hit that round button, hit subscribe. The, the podcast will automatically come to you. And then I did the playlist. Please start with podcast number one. You need to start from the beginning to digest this information. It's overwhelming and it's too much to receive. You need to receive a little snippet every day. Remember that discipline and that structure is so important. And remember, I want you to have a marvelous day today. And thank you for listening.